Let's take these out. Put that away. Grab this. Put that away. And grab this. So. I know we need netherite ingots. And we have, we have some of this here. So I'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet, so to speak. And just cook these up. And now I need a gold. I need gold dust. I need one gold dust. We'll enrich it. And then we'll throw it in. Throw that in there and we'll throw these in here. This should be good enough. Cook those out. Okay. Now we can smelt these down into some netherite. All right. Now we can make a structure compass. And then we're going to need to make even more and more stuff, man. But that is okay. We have a structure compass now. We can probably just put this up there and still access it. Yeah. All right. We need to look for stronghold. Better strongholds, stronghold. This is uh this is what you're gonna want to look for when you're searching for the stronghold in all the mods nine. You can also do the default way with the uh, ender eyes, but I'm not gonna do that. 520 blocks that way. Let's check our ender eyes because we're gonna need to make more of these, which means we're gonna need more blaze rods, which we only have these special ones. But at least we have 16. That's nice. We'll make 10 of those. We'll grab the other two. What did we get? We got a quest complete. Oh, it's a task. I don't get a reward. I don't get a reward for that. So let's take these, and we will be on our way to follow this structure compass and go kill the Ender Dragon. And we'll turn off chunk borders, and we'll turn our jetpack up a little bit. Well, I'm gonna go right here. I'm not gonna go under the water. I shouldn't take fall damage now that I have all the Madium armor, right? Yeah, nice. So it says it's that way. Well, let's do a shapeless tunnel and see if we can find it. Here's a cave. It says it's 19 blocks that way. The hell is that? Oh, all of these blocks? Oh no. It's because we forgot our dank. Dank, where are you? Can we upgrade you? Emeralds. Pfft, nope. Well, let's grab our dank here. Grab all this cobble, Mr. Dank. We have cobble in here. Nice. Well, we have our dank on us now. Filtered pickup mode. Engaged. Okay, so it says it's 51 blocks that way. So we're getting closer when we go down. Damn it, water. Leave me alone. There's no way I'm just digging around it, right? This might be wrong. Because it says it's right under here. I mean, it could be above here. It could be slightly off. Yeah, I think if anything, the structure compass is just doing me dirty right now. <laughs> Let's just uh, fly around this cave. See if we find anything. Let's see. Oh, well, there's a chest. With a diamond shovel in it. Some raw iron. Just chuck that away. Oh, look, look at that. Would you just look at it? Guess we found it. <gasps> and it's right by the portal. No way. <laughs> uh, let's grab a cardboard box for this. Like, yeah, it's silverfish and it sucks. But I think they can drop uh, apotheosis gems very well. So let's just take it. But screw silverfish, man. Okay, well, we found the end portal. So, let's just mark this. Stronghold. Now, we could go explore the stronghold. Um, if you guys... There's a ton of stuff, but I, I really don't want to. It, takes, it usually takes me a long time to find the portal room when you get in here because the remade... Or that mod specifically that is for the strongholds, the better strongholds mod, it makes them very, very complex. So I really don't want to deal with that. How many eyes are in here? Only one. So let's go ahead and do this. Nice. Would you just look at it? I'm going to toss that in there. We won't be able to access our storage. Let's uh, take all of this out and we'll chuck it in so we can have an empty backpack. Let's, uh, let's take a little screeny right here. Yeah. 
Cool. Neat. Awesome. Well, we are going to full on all the mods, nine kill this guy. So we are going to be flying around the dragon and we just gon' go ham on this mug. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, great heavens. Where are we? Um, I think we need to go up. This way? Yeah, whoa! Imagine you come out to this. That's so cool. Oh god, she's spawning. Where is she? Come here, don't just yell at me. Oh, it's spawning now. Ooh, that looks, this place looks so cool. Look at that, it does that awesome little effect. This place is sick! Let's get her ass. We need to use these on her so we can get the data modules. Get me in there. Uh, got one. Got another. Got. Oh, come on. Give me another one. Come on. I need these. Damn it. You're being a punk. Give me your data. Give me your data. There we go. All right, now we can toss these into the deep learner here. And we can kill her. We're going to have to kill her a lot, though. Full all the mods 9 fashion, baby. You think you can just outheal my damage? I don't think so. We're not even insanely strong. I mean, we're super duper freaking strong, but not in terms of all the mod 9. Come here, girl. I'm sorry for your loss. I know I'm I shouldn't be flying. You're probably confused, just as confused as I am. How did I get wings? I'm not even a dragon. But this is goodbye. I'm sorry for your loss. Ooh, we got dragon skin, dragon scales, dragon scales, and a shader grab bag. Goodbye, my friend. You will be missed. Now, where does the dragon egg spawn? Um, oh, here it is. Click this. What? <laughs> Does that mean it's on the other side of the portal? I sure hope that's what that means. I'm going to be really upset if that's not what that means. Oh, we got a backpack. You playing some music? Well, we have ruined the Ender Dragon. She will be missed. What the hell are these? Greg Tech, you are generating weird as shit. Is this supposed to add like a, uh, oh, this is space kind of feel to it? I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be doing. What is this? It's a urinanite. End urinanite. Now, does this turn into urinanite that I need? It does not. What do you turn into? The tiny dust, which becomes the small, oh my gosh. I, d yeah, see, you see this crap? This is unnecessary. I don't like that. Good lord, man. It's so complex. I'm not playing all the mods to play a complex mod, man. That's literally not what I'm doing. Well, let's uh see if that egg spawned by our bed. Get rid of the credits. Where's the egg? Where did you go? You're probably gone forever, aren't you? Is it at spawn? I bet it's at spawn. Isn't there a command for that? It's bowing. Oh. Oh, the egg's here. Nice, we got it. We are back to episode one. Look at all that packed ice. I'm going to absolutely destroy all of this. It's going to be so nice um, when we start getting into the generator. I'm going to absolutely desecrate this area. Whoa, look at this generation. What the hell? I think it was probably supposed to generate a mountain here and it messed up. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Or maybe it was supposed to generate like that, but it did it super in a super thin way. Yeah, I think this whole area is supposed to be filled with blocks. Like this one is here. Still looks cool as shit. Some more ice over here too. Nice. Ooh. What's in here? Loot. Onions and oh, a power glove. Plus four damage. We have a... Uh, Another glove on. We do plus four more attack damage. Look at that. Well, 19.5 damage wasn't enough anyway. 
<laughs> do we have do we have any uh waypoints near here no we live all the way over there well slash home it is sweet we got the freaking dragon egg and we got the data modules oh we need to kill one more and then we can get the basic ones that's nice at least but we need end what is it crystals we need four of these and we don't have enough ghast tears for that okay but hey we killed the ender dragon we the game's over we beat the game the game is completely over we we finished all the mods nine all right well thank you guys for watching uh, I know this is an abrupt end of the series, but I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. Maybe next time we'll try another mod pack that doesn't have such a quick ending. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys, and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Of course I'm not stopping there. What do you think I is? You think I'm some kind of weirdo? We have so much more to do, man. I bet you did look at the timestamp, though. You were like, what the hell? Why? Why is he ending it already? Like, there's a whole nother 20 minutes left or something. I don't know how long this is going to be. <laughs> but, yeah. What uh, what can all of these be used for? Draco Arcanus. This is some neat stuff and things that I'm not going to use. I will just be up front. I will not be using that. Let us see, though, what we can do with the dragon egg. Okay, we're going to need one of those. I know that. I think it's for the ATM 9 star. Dragon Hive Egg, that's going to be good for bees. <sighs> what the hell is this? Backpack for Real Warriors combines Magma Cube and Squid's backpack abilities, plus gives you strength and regeneration. You'll be invincible, but what did it cost? I don't know what it cost. Uh, need a standard Traveler's Backpack, which we can make. What does the Squid Backpack give you? I think it's you swim underwater. It grants water breathing and night vision effects while being in, in water. And what does the magma cube give you? Like uh, immunity to fire? Yep. And it gives you strength and regeneration. Hmm, that might be something interesting to, to build. I'll add that to here. Alrighty then. Well, we killed the ender dragon. Let's check our ore. I want to go check on our quarry to see how that's doing um, actually right now. Let's see how you're doing. You're still cooking. Ooh, you are all the way down here. Hmm. Yep, you're still going. You are still mining it up over here. And you're still outputting everything, right? Yes, you are. Uh, it looks like there are modules we can do for that thing. What are they? Quarry pump module, quarry replacing, quarry XP collects, quarry fuel can be stacked to increase power. Huh. Quarry fuel module. Let's try that. Maybe we'll make the quarry go zoom. It is rather slow right now, isn't it? Uh-uh. You leave me alone, you little boogers. I'm gonna go to sleep right now. And you can't stop me. Goodbye. You burnt alive. It looks like all of the raw iron might be going to our system. Let's check that. A rainbow! A rainbow! Oh, it went away. Are we still getting cobble? Yeah, we are. Let's just stand over here, I guess, and see. Oh, yep, there it goes. Okay, so it has been just coming over here and getting cooked up. Well, that's nice. Cool. So this is this whole system is working. Sweet. All right, let's uh, check on these quarry fuel. We need blaze rods. Do we have many of those? Go back to the problem. We need more blaze rods. We do have some, so that's good. Let's... Oh, we gotta make some furnaces. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just make a ton of those. And we will do this. Okay, and we will chuck this in here. Do that, make that. And let's make some more. So let's just chuck all of that in there. And we'll make those. How many did we make? We have two. Oh, we need more netherrack. And we'll just make one of those and one of those. Okay, so we have four of these. See what it does. I'll show you if we can make this buster faster. Are you gonna move even faster now? Yeah, it did speed up. I just don't know by how much. At least it's getting the ore much faster. Well, well, well. At least that's a thing. Cool.
Yeah, this thing is getting drained so fast. I am so happy with that. All right, sweet. So that thing is working exactly as intended. That's really good. Now I'm thinking, oh, you spawned in here. Ha, get trapped. Emeralds. Mystery scroll pouch. I'm not interested in that, but that does look cool. Ow. Ow. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no. I killed almost all of my animals, dude. Damn. Well, chickens, go, go at it. Let's grab some wheat. Cows, go, go at it. I'll make another one, too. We'll look for some more sheep. Sheepies, I totally didn't kill my own and am now looking to capture more. That's not what happened at all. Just come over here. You'll totally be fine. You will totally be okay. Damn. Look at all this black sand here. This is a ton of sand. Probably uh, come gather some of this. What the hell? A honeyed archer again. Ooh, we can just grab a bee cage. Can we take him from under you? Yep. Get hecked. Goodbye, sir. You just got hecked. Another one. Give me your bee. Thank you. Honey, archers are nice because we get the, those free bees. <laughs> free bees. Do you get it? It's so funny. It is so hilarious. I'm only seeing hostile mobs. I don't see any... Uh, I'm not seeing any passive mobs anymore what the hell i wonder why there were some around my base there's elephants but i don't need elephants i need sheep there's a cow another bee what are you a carpenter bee chocolate mining bee i think i need one of those at some point that's a good find some burbs another bee over here what are you an ashy mining bee. I think I'm going to need one of those too. Well, we've got bees. We have the bees. Oh, another waystone. I'm just going to take that actually. Oh, look, a village. Well, well, well. Hello, Gerar Cred. Gerura Cred. Thanks for inviting me to your city. But where are the sheep? Damn, man. I don't even know. Go home, I guess. Oh well. Say goodbye, sheep. How are you coming along? Nicely? Yeah, nicely. Let's, uh, let's look into some lily pads now. So we're gonna need nature essence. How do you get nature seeds? You need nature agglomeratio, which needs these thingies, which I'm gonna need my cactus growing. Can I grow cactus on this? Nope, but I can grow it in the hopper botany pots, I think. Do I need to put sand in here? Yeah, I do. That sucks. Oh well. But that's I'm going to need that. So, I'm going to need the I'm going to need the nature seeds so I can make the lily pads. So, we'll just wait on this to very very slowly grow and give us cactuses. Take some more of those. Welcome addition. How are you? How are you coming along, man? Do you need me to upgrade this already? Oh, our inferiums. Yeah, it's kicking off. I'm going to upgrade this. Oh, this thing's almost broken too. Then we can upgrade this bad boy here to the Imperium upgrade. Sweet. Now it's going to work faster and it'll hold a bigger area, which is really nice. But it should do us uh, some good work. We might even put another harvester on the other side. I know I didn't I don't really want to, but it's not it's not too expensive, man, to have them. And also then it'll harvest everything twice as fast, because there will be two harvesters working on it. But for now it's doing what we want. This thing's still kicking off over here. How many glands do we have? We have eight. That's good. And each three per lily pad. So those will hopefully continue to come in nicely. We need the cactuses to grow so we can get the lily pads to improve the farm. We have two more cactus. There's a way to make these faster as well, which I will be doing later. This. We need four of these. Okay, we have four. Nice. Now we need 
the prosperity seeds, and then we need the infusion altar. Oh, we need red wool. Do we have any way to make red dye? Yeah, we do. To make that. How much wool do we have? We don't have any. How much string do we have? A lot. So let's just make some wool from some string. Okay, let's make uh, eight of these, which we're going to need to do this. Oh shit. Well, we have extra of those, and unfortunately I didn't find the sheep, but that's alright. Um, for this, I don't know where I want to place this. Oh, we have two souls. Nice. Well, let's just place this over here for now. We can move this later. This, it's going to be uneven with everything, but that's fine. But we just need to place this here temporarily. Okay, that's done. Now we need a button. Any button will do. Just do a stone button. Put that there. Now we do these. This is one of those uh, situations where I don't think there's a better way to get lily pads automated. So we are using mystical agriculture to grow the plant essence that we need. Or nature essence, rather. This is one of those situations where it's like, well, this is the only way that I know how to do it. So it makes sense to me. So I'm going to allow this one. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to avoid things like iron, gold, diamonds, uh, ender pearls. Things that might have other ways to farm them automatically. If I can't find a way to farm diamonds automatically, then alas, I will make seeds. Or once we're at the point in the game where we have thousands and thousands of them, and it's like, well, we already have a shit ton, we might as well farm them with the seeds, then so be it. That's what we'll do. Uh, but for the early game, I'm avoiding that just so we are being forced to search for alternative means to uh, get this done. Yeah, we got our uh, nature seeds over here. And these things are growing up because of the lily pads, but the lily pads, I think they only reach out seven blocks, so it's not reaching over to here, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Do we have our nature's compass? Let's look for a swamp. 4,000 blocks. Let's just go to this one. Away! Do we have a waystone on us? No. Let's make one then. Waystone time. And let's just uh, fly on our way. 4,000 blocks. Swamp, where are you? Now we're going to the swamp here because I want to find... I do want to find some lily pads so I'm not waiting on them. But there is a way to get them with the seeds. Because this is this is manual. So there's not really an automated way to get these that I know of. So I'm allowing myself to make those seeds like I mentioned. Man, dude, this, this, these Greg Tech ore are just really just not spawning properly, are they? Man, this swamp is kind of wacky. The way that uh, its water is and everything, it looks like it did not generate well at all. All right, sweet. Well, we'll place a, we'll place a waste on here. We'll just call it swamp. So we know where a swamp is. We'll go back home. And we have some lily pads. So that's geared. Got a bunch of weird crap. We'll just toss that in there. Grab the waystone out of here. And let's see if we can make this. Oh, we need more green dye. We don't have any cactus in there. Let's check over here. We have eight cactus. Let's cook it up. Let's make as many of these as we can. All right, so that's gonna be three lily pads of fertility. Nice. Let's place one here. And we'll place one on this side as well. And place one on this side. All right, cool. So we have some lily pads going. Nice, so now everything's getting affected by it, at least by a little bit. This one's getting affected by two of these two. And this corner is affected by these two. These are being affected by quite a bit, like this corner here and this corner. Those are being affected by quite a bit. The central, these central most plants are being pushed a ton to grow because uh, they have four lily pads touching them. Actually, I think this, these all around this ring here are getting touched by all of the lily pads. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it, they are. That's crazy. That is wild, man. But now our crops are going to grow much faster. The harvester is going to have more work to do. So get to work, bud. I think our inferium is being stored over here, right? How much room do we have? 130k. We have plenty of room. These are still spawning. We just got another one of these catal catalyzing glands. That's good. We have 15 of these hearts. 7 zombie hearts. Which these can turn into gold. So that's cool. 
Oh no, the thunder. Wonder if we've uh wonder how far our quarry's gotten. I wanna I wanna check that. That could be a cool idea, I think. It's still going. It is all the way down here. It hasn't even touched uh deep slate yet. But it's still getting ore. That is good to see. Yeah, do your dance, baby, do your dance. Keep going, bud. That is good to see. We do want a chunk destroyer though. That thing is insane. So we will want one of those at some point. Let's check the at quarry mod. So the chunk destroyer is gonna need all of this. We need a dragon head. We can probably get that from, uh, I know exactly where we can get that. We have the withers here. It's a little expensive, but we do that. And then the quarry pluses, we're gonna need three of those. So these are what we're gonna need. And then we're gonna need these as well. Well, oh, then you can put fortune on it. That's crazy. I did not know you could do that. You can move enchantments onto the quarry. That's nuts. Well, what we can also do now is we can make an all the modium pick uh, and we can move our enchantments onto that. That'll be really cool. So we're gonna need three rods like this, two plates. We can make the all the modium pickaxe. And then with the all the modium pickaxe, we can go get that vibranium too. So we will move these enchantments and then we're gonna move them again. Uh, so we'll craft a couple of these because we're gonna need to move the enchantments multiple times. I want to use fortune. Uh, I want the fortune. Oh, do we have the hammer as well? We do. I want the fortune to be on the Aldamadium pick for when we are. Oh, we got another soul. Nice. For when we're mining vibranium. Because I would like the vibranium to hopefully drop more than one. Let's uh, go to our backpack. We'll go to the anvil here. Drop this in here. We'll do. Actually, we won't. We'll just do fortune five. No, we can do Boon of the Earth 2 as well. Do that. Sure. Well, it's going to be expensive. So we'll just do Fortune 5. So we can save some XP. And then we'll go mine that Vibranium that's in the Nether. Then we'll make our Vibranium pick. And then we'll move the Fortune again. Or hold on, we need the Vibranium upgrade. How do we find that? Where is that one at? Uh, Yeah, that's what we're going to need, huh? We can't just automatically make it. Where do we get this? All the modium. Let me check the quest book. I don't remember. So we need to go to the. Is it here? Yeah. Vibranium smithing templates can be found in the nether inside of bastions. Look for sus suspicious soul sand. Suspicious. <laughs> Not suspicious, suspicious. Okay, so we found the first netherite. We found the first nether. netherite upgrade in the bastions as well but those the the ones in the chest were the netherite smithing up templates but now we need to find the vibranium smithing templates and those are in suspicious soul sand okay that makes sense do we have our brush we don't have our brush well time to go back home because i would like to i would like to upgrade this um to vibranium once we get it then we can have the big boy pick so let's grab our brush do we have enough to well, let's collect our quests real quick redstone site prosperity gemstone okay do we have enough to dang it i forgot what i was gonna do oh i was gonna make this no because we need more netherite dang it well we can we can mine some netherite while we're in the nether so i guess we will i guess we will put our boon of the earth on here then because we want to uh we'll probably be using this for a little bit actually now that I think about it, and we'll take the efficiency off of this as well. Goodbye, sir. Mr. Hammer, you will be missed, but unfortunately, I don't need you anymore. Put efficiency 5 on this. So this pick is good to go. And maybe we'll see if we can actually upgrade this to a purple. Do that. We need gem dust, but this would get diamond effectiveness on all blocks. And we would gain speed. Ooh, this has 45 experience gain. I kind of want that one. Yeah, that's a good that's a good thing to have. Uh, gem dust? No gem dust? Ah, okay. Well, we can get gem dust though. Not too hard. Ooh, and what we can also get now that we have this fortune book is this upgrade here. 
Oh, it's looting that we need. Do we have a looting sword or anything? We do have looting. Okay, well, time to use all of our souls. <laughs> I would like to make, I would like to put some looting in there. So I'll just, we already, oh, there we go. All right, well, we used all of our souls. Let's check our uh, death level. Death level. Mm, this and this, okay. All right, those are upgraded. Get bonus stats and stuff and things. Well, now we can put, can we put scavenger on this? We already have a lot of upgrades on there. Can we put another one? We can. It's 12 levels though. I'm going to hold off on that. But we have looting now, so we can make this. We can only get one. Ah, oh, we need multiple looting books. I was hoping it would be like reusable, but it's not. But that's fine. We have a looting upgrade we can throw in here. So now we will get better chance at drops. I don't know by how much. I don't know what the percentage is, but we have better. We have a better chance at drops. So that's good. We'll say goodbye to our beautiful netherite pickaxe. It was so useful to us. How much XP do we have? 596 buckets because we have it running all the time. Let's go, man. We can get a ton of XP. Means we can reach over here, right? Yeah. Sweet. We also need gems. So let's go. Cracked gem. There's a cracked one. Let's do chipped gems. Nope, we don't have any. So we only have blues now. And yeah, we only have blues. We'll scrap these. Unfortunately, we need to farm more mobs so we can get more gems, but that's okay. And uh, now we can throw this in here. We just need more XP. So come over here. Oh, we're already level 70. Damn. Throw this in and then we get some nice juicy stats. Yes, it's minus luck, but that's okay. We have diamond effectiveness on all blocks. Blocks teleport to us. We get luck, mining speed, XP gain, and block reach. So that's really cool. And we don't need to waste XP on mending anymore, which is really nice. Fortune 5, Boon of the Earth 4, Efficiency 5. Damn. What a what a pickaxe. Sweets. Okay. We can also now place mending on our shield, uh, which is what I want to do, actually, when I can figure out which key binding to press. Let's put mending on here and unbreaking 5 on here. Sweet, now when we get XP, it should heal up. Yeah, damn, it healed up fast. Okay, it's probably because it only has 336 durability. Scavenger three, we'll place on our sword here. It's a lot of enchantments on there. We don't need mending on there anymore too. I need to pull that off. But now our sword is upgraded again, so that's good. And we can put this away. Put the mob yoinkers away, put the dragon egg away. All right, oh, we have two nature's compasses. Whoops, I built one when I didn't need to. That's okay. Do we have any netherite? We don't. Oh, we have one netherite site. That'll be good. We'll go to the nether and we'll go get some ancient debris while we're looking for uh, bastions later as well. All right. We'll put this in here. Oh, no, we're not. I'm not. I don't want to see that the whole time. <laughs> okay, let's now go to the nether. Our XP is actually filled, almost filled up in there from the mob farm, surprisingly. Double check our melons before we go. Yeah, we're still good to go. We're still positive, uh, even with the power draw that we have. Which may reminds me, we need more prediction matrixes. There they are. Let's make some of these. Oh, we're out of glass panes. Let's make some glass panes. We have a ton of clay, so I'm not worried about that. Let's make a ton of those. And those will get ate up. We'll just make a bunch. There we go. We'll just make all of these, so these will keep going, and we'll continue to get... Uh, Nether stars? Yeah, we're already at 200. Nice. Okay, sweet. And we've only killed seven wither. And <laughs> we have 200 nether stars. Okay. Let's go in here. Now, that could solve a lot of our problems. We could do that for chicken, zombies, everything. Uh, all other mobs. And use their predictions to store stuff. But they're super expensive on power. So we're not particularly ready, I don't think, to do that. Just because of how kind of... We're kind of broke when it comes to power. We, we still have mid-game power. God, they're so loud. Well, look at that. Gold pants. That's good. Or a uh, purple. The purple tier. So we can do, we can downgrade that. Let's go down here. And, oh yeah, also, when you have all the modium, the the pig the pigmen ignore you. Which is really nice. Yo, you've got a, like, diamond chest plate on, little guy? Damn. That's crazy. You're nuts. Alright, let's, let's drink this. Alright, and let's go to town. You should also be immune to fire. Right? Yeah, with uh, Ultimodium armor, which is really nice.
Netherite is also another thing I might use mystical agriculture seeds for, just because I don't think there's another way to automate it. So that's another thing that I might do. Okay, we already have 50 ancient debris. Let's uh keep going. All right, well, our sight potion ran out. We have a total of 83 ancient debris. Not a bad haul. Let's go ahead and teleport home and chuck all this stuff into our system. We ate like a whole stack of bread there, <laughs> trying to keep up with the mining, but that was good. Did a good bit of mining there. Oh, I need to collect this reward, an uncommon reward, eye vendor, and a rare reward. Gem dust, how much? Four gem dust, nice. I will take that and toss that into here. Okay, we're all purple here. We're purple here. It's good, we're purple here. Okay, so we're purple tier upgrades. Our system over here should be kicking off. Yep, we got quite a bit of ore. That was good. This should also be going with the, uh... oh, my game just crashed. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Let's get back in there, I guess. I hope it's not a persistent crash because that would really, really suck. Okay, well, we are back. It looks like we rolled back a little bit, but at least we didn't lose our world. Let's hope we don't crash when we go over here again. Where's our ancient debris? Is it still in there? No, it looks... Wait, did we not? Oh, we didn't put our stuff in our system yet. Okay, well, let's toss all the stuff in the system and hope that we don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, this is cooking up. All right, sweet. Very nice. Okay, let's toss some gold in here. Some, uh, oh, we need a hammer. Or maybe we just wanna make a crusher here. Yeah, let's make a crusher and put that up over there so we can have it just auto crush the gold and just send it, not a, God, I can't spell. Let's make a crusher, another crusher here. And then we'll upgrade this to this. Do we have any upgrades in here still? We have five speed. Okay, let's make some energy upgrades then. Okay, let's just do three then and we'll grab some gold, some cables, and let's set this up real quick. We'll move this machine to right here. And we'll have it output there. Turn that off. And we'll chuck. 32 gold in there. Upgrade the speed, upgrade the energy. Now we need to tell this to take input. So that'll get enriched and that'll go into there. And now we can take our nether scrap, fill this up. Whoops. It goes in there, right? Yeah, why can't I put it in there? I was literally just throwing this in here. What the hell? Why can't I put it in Metallurgic Infuser anymore? What? Huh? Hold on a minute. Did they remove that? Wait a minute. I just did this. I literally just did this. What am I doing wrong? Am I being silly? Um, what the hell is going on? Hold on. Do I need to save and quit real quick and reload? Let me reload completely because I'm confused. Okay, so now it's working. It still wasn't pulling it out of the barrel, but it's at least working right now. I'm really confused. I broke the machine, put it back down, rechecked the config, and then I went into the recipes, and it's here now. I guess it just didn't reload after I crashed. That was odd, but we got our netherite dust. So now we have, now that we have our netherite, let's go ahead and make that infinity or the dimensional range booster. Let's take these. Let's go ahead and make some of these. Gonna need some more range boosters, which means we need more upgrades. That'll be four of those, and then we can make the dimension card. Very nice. Can we not put this in here? Oh, we can put that in there. Nice. Still only using 100 FE per tick. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can use our storage in any dimension, which is really freaking cool. 
It's really good for us. Now we can always have our storage. Ooh, got a neural processor. What is this used for? Oh, crafters. Oh, to upgrade to higher level crafters. Very nice. This is, this is going to be super useful because we are definitely going to be doing that at some point. We got a lot of base stuff done. We, we set these up down here, which is really awesome. These things are still kicking off. We still have quite a few processors, which is really good. Uh, this is going to be really nice. It'll continue to pump out. It'll continue to pump out nether stars like this. And it'll continue to raise the model's accuracy so we get them more and more and more. This is still pumping out items. Look at that. You can see it there. These items are getting pumped out of our system with that base quarry. That quarry is the start of a chunk destroyer. And it's automatically getting us resources and everything, which is really good. We improved this farm just a little bit. We've got things set up to start making a ton of lily pads. And we also have some cactus over here growing which I'm going to set up an automated farm for cactus as well once we start getting more and more lily pads. But for now, that's what we have at the moment. Oh, we still didn't collect this reward. Oh, we got a dragon head. Nice. And we get to reroll this one. Since we crashed, I guess we get to reroll these rewards. <laughs> well, well, we got lucky. Got the dragon head, which we can use on something in here, I know. Oh, yes, that's right. It's the... Uh, Chunk Destroyer. Well, now we have that out of the way. That's really cool. Sweet. Green dye. Let's make some... Can we make lily pads now? We can, sweet, because we're getting nature's essence. We can only make eight, but that's fine. We can make some of these. Let's make as much as we can. All right, sweet. Well, we maxed out that. Now we can make lily pads of fertility. We have five more. Beautiful. So we will continue to put these over here so we can continue to pump up how much is getting output. And we'll put this one over here so it continues to pump up the nature seeds. All right, sweet. We got more and more of these going. So these, this is going to continue to cook faster. How much do we have? We have 2.2K. That's still not a lot, actually. That's not a lot of Inferium still. So <laughs> we, we need way more. <laughs> How much diamonds do we have? Have we... We still have 66. But we did hit a uh, deep slate. It looks like we were hitting cobbled deep slate with our quarry, which is really good. Uh, after crashing and seeing that issue with the infused uh, the infusing factory, uh, I was getting a little annoyed, but I did get hungry, so I'm going to go eat. I would also like to defeat the Ender Dragon one more time so we can get the data module to basic level at least. I need to make end crystals. So you can respawn the Ender Dragon with end crystals. Let me see how many gas tiers I have. So I only have two gas tiers. Hello, Leroy. Uh, so I do need to go kill some ghasts so we can get more of those. Well, there's a purple boss here. Well, time for another detour. Thank you, sir. Okay, what did you drop? You dropped some purple pants, which we can go ahead and scrap for some purple essence. All right, let's look for some ghasts. There's one. Thank you, sir. That's two gas tiers. I want to collect some more just so we can have more gas tiers because I feel like I do believe there are some recipes that use it. So I want to grab some of those. Oh, my wireless transmitter says it's not in range. I guess that does mean that the dimensional... Um, oh, wait, no, I didn't make the dimensional thing yet, did I? Huh. I, don't, I think I did, actually. I don't know. Well, that would mean that it, in fact, does not work in the advanced wireless transmitter, which is unfortunate. Which means we'll have to use the other one, which is going to draw a ton of power. Which I do believe will make us also need to upgrade our melon power system. And I cannot find any ghasts. This is unfortunate. They're usually all over the place, too. <laughs> this is just unlucky. Oh, here we go. Here's a ghast. Oh, it only gave us one. I won't do full raw gameplay videos. That's just kind of not my thing. Um, maybe I'll do streams at some point, but not for now. That is not in the cards, especially with the holidays coming up. Okay, so it looks like our... Let's check on, actually no, we already know that's good. So it looks like the dimension card definitely does not work. So we're gonna need a regular wireless transmitter, which is fine. 
That is okay. But it's gonna use a it's gonna use way more power than this. If I put this down, so we put that down. It is using 8 FE, but if I put this in here, now it's using 8,000 FE per tick, which means that our system is constantly being forced to push out ethylene. Yeah, these are gonna be, one of these is gonna be pumping at full speed. Yep, there it goes. This one's also pumping at full speed. And yeah, we're draining ethylene, unfortunately, which means we need to upgrade this system here to counteract that. Looks like our melons are also gonna get drained very quickly too, which means we probably just need to upgrade the soil here, but we could also just add more pots. I might just add more pots, that might be something to do. But that is okay, that's quite all right. I do wanna add reactors later, but I'm not gonna do that for now. I'm just gonna go ahead and make, oh, see, look at that, we're already out of power. And I wonder, is that simply due to the cables just not being able to push enough power? <laughs> I think it might be, yeah, this thing's empty. Let's check over here. These are still cooking. Is this pumping back up now? No, it's still getting drained uh, for more than we can contain. And I wonder why that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna put the advanced wireless transmitter back down for now. And we will do the, we'll just toss this back in here. Um, we need some range boosters again. We'll toss these in there for now. This only uses 100, so that's good. But it does look like uh, our power grid is kind of screwed. This isn't even holding power. What happened? Is our system screwed right now? You are... Let's replace you. Maybe that'll... Fix things? Doesn't look like it did. Okay, well, at least we know power is coming in, but it does look like our network is basically at its max. So we do need to upgrade our power situation here. We're gonna need a pressurized reaction chamber. I think that's what we're gonna need, right? Yeah, we're gonna need a pressurized reaction chamber and a gas burning generator, which is gonna need two biofuel generators. We have our bio generators. We're gonna need this. This is gonna need some atomic alloy. Okay, we have two of these. Then we need to throw that in there with obsidian dust that gets cooked up. So we need the crusher. Is it the crusher or the enriching chamber? I think it's the enriching chamber. And then this needs to get put into the metallurgic infuser with enriched diamond, which we still haven't gotten any diamonds from our mine, which is unfortunate. That is okay. Take this out. What do you have, bud? Nothing that I want. Then just get out. Leave me alone. Okay, let's toss one of these in here. Now we can make our gas burning generator. Now we need another pressurized reaction chamber, which needs an enrichment chamber. And we're going to need to upgrade the crusher. Upgrade the crusher. All right, so the crusher is going to be upgraded. We're going to need some more hopper botany pots. Luckily, we have four. We're going to need some item pipes. And we are going to need some farmland. Which means we need to check our essence here. We'll make four of those. Now we will put these here. Now we need to tell us to auto eject, output, inputs, energy. Let's put an upgrade on here so this thing can just keep pumping out stuff. So we'll just toss these onto here. 10 million, this one is at 500k. So let's just plop that in there so this can just continuously push out we need to put an upgrade on here too, which I'm gonna upgrade this. So it can pump out even more. 
So we'll just take it all out like that. There we go. Now this will just continuously kick off, which is good. And this should hopefully be able to keep up with 12 pots. I can hope. I really hope so. That would be pretty cool, but we will see. All right, let's just the separator. You're not even able to really keep up well, so we need another electrolytic separator. Maybe able to make one from here. Okay, so you're getting filled up with water, but you're not outputting the right gas. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need three stacks of iron then, and some redstone. Whoopsies. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Guess we'll just have a bunch of uh, speed upgrades and whatnot. I oh, need to put more iron in here. I don't know how much more, so I'm just going to chuck all of it in. You are not getting drained. Okay, so this can now keep up. Okay, so the problem was it was just using too much power. Got it. Okay. These are still outputting at full force though, and this is still getting drained at full force, and we're still running out of ethylene. Okay, well, let's put this here and upgrade it. Now this is outputting ethylene, but faster than it can be pumped out, which means we need to take this and upgrade this. Now I should be able to keep up with all of these. Yeah, okay. How's our ethylene supply? All right, we are good. At least with the amount of ethylene that we have. Now we need to chuck down this gas generator here. These are all three pumping at max. What is draining all that power? It's not these. Is it you? No, cause you're no, you have no power. You have no power. You're outputting to the top. You are getting power now. But you still have no power. Why is that? So you're not getting drained. And then you facing east off. There we go. I wonder if that was causing a lot of problems with power. It might have been. And once this is full, we should be good to go. Well, we ran into some problems. Okay, this is filling back up. All right, sweet. Well, we fixed that predicament. Um, let's check on our power over here. We're still probably outputting like crazy. Yeah, we are. But, oh no, we are, we are still running out of ethylene here. These things can't keep up, really. This can keep up just fine. Can our melons? Our melons are not keeping up either. Do we need another reaction chamber? This one's, this, this isn't even being used. This is using a ton. Maybe we take another speed out. Okay. Can you keep up? No, you can't, but that would mean that this should start getting drained as well. Yeah, because you gases you're set to output and you should output hydrogen as needed but these machines don't need it this one's gonna run low well, let's see what happens when it runs low are you gonna start outputting oh duh silly me we do that oh this one has nowhere to uh well that might be why we're running out of ethylene you take some universal pipes here, place this and do that, and then have it with auto eject output. There we go. Okay. 
this should be good now. But we are out of ethylene? Or are we gonna bounce back out? Looks like we are not going to. I actually don't think we need two of these. We could get away still with just one. We just have to put the upgrade in here. Because they can be upgraded so much. Yeah, so we put that in there. This one will use the same power as two. I hope. We shouldn't need the second one, right? Maybe I'll just drop it down just in case. Um, let's do that. Fill it to output. And then maybe we just remove this. And maybe both of these will stabilize. Ah, I see it's draining the water though really fast. Ah, okay, we need to put an, a pipe upgrade in there. Make a couple of these and upgrade them. But we'll do this, put that in there. Or maybe we just need to do that. There we go, yep, there we go. Okay, so the water problem is fixed. We can remove this and remove this. You're good to go now, I think. Well, we can connect that with that. All right, now the water's good. This water's good too, okay. Man, these pipes are so wacky. <laughs> it's the universal pipes though, that's why. But these are good now. We're still gonna be running out of ethylene. Is this one all the way upgraded? It is. These guys just can't do enough for us. We're gonna need another one. And our melons are gonna run out too, which is unfortunate. We might be reaching the limits of what this can do. Oh, this can't even, this isn't even outputting fast enough. We need another pipe upgrade. Well, let's do that. Time to improve everything, so let's do that. Now this thing can be cooking up completely. I mean, it's still keeping up just fine. I mean, look at that. It is, it is pumping these things out, so that's good. At least our crusher's doing fine. The electrolytic separators... Look like they're doing fine as well. These things are, yep, they're keeping up with these. We're gonna just need another, we're gonna need another electrolytic, uh, not electrolytic, but we're gonna need another pressurized reaction chamber here. Dang it, man, another one. That's okay. These are much easier to build than, uh, than these gas burning generators. And they're, they're pretty simple to deal with. Put that there, put this here. And then we need to put a universal pipe on top. Tell it to output. On the top, eject. All right. So now hopefully, well, once we upgrade the speed, upgrade the energy, and then we'll upgrade the speed. Hopefully we can start increasing our ethylene. I hope. Looks like they're going up. Okay, it looks like we're stable now. Now we need to deal with this growing issue of melons not growing fast enough. We're gonna need more hopper bonnie pots. But I also think that's just because our crusher is just eating, eating them like crazy. So we might just slow this down, which will cause it to use less power and cook them at half the speed. Hopefully that means, and I hope this means we can keep up. It looks like we cannot with how slow this is now, unfortunately. So it's a whole balancing act. All of this is a balancing act. So let's see if this can keep up now. It doesn't look like it can. Or if it is, it's just barely. So I guess we do need it to be maxed out. Yeah, we need this. We do need this to be maxed out, unfortunately, which is using one KFE per tick. But that just means we need to upgrade our melon output again because <laughs> i mean this is just gonna cook all of them up it might be okay we'll just leave this here for now i think we'll just we'll just leave it be and uh we'll deal with we'll deal with this problem as it uh as it continues to bother us oh now look we are out of hydrogen so we need to drop a speed in here and a speed in here balancing act baby so these can do their job. Okay, these are good now. We are building up excess ethylene. All right, sweet, we should be good to go now. We should be good. 
I hope. I hope this is all good. I hope we're fine and dandy. The only problem is going to be, I believe we're going to continue to run out of melons and we could add more. Um, I might just do that right now because it's going to bother me if I don't. We'll just add some more hopper botany pots and hope that the problem resolves itself. The hopper botany pots are really slow, so that could also be what it is. Like we could totally just maybe grow melons on a different farm. It'd be faster, but I want to kind of avoid that if I can. I hope these four lines here can keep up. I really, really do. I'd like to avoid having to do more, but I mean, we've already expanded this past <laughs> its use, honestly. These are all kicking off at full speed to try to fill this up. It is filling up though, so that's good. Uh, just sucks that we ran into such a big power issue. Because this, this machine here is not even not even on at the moment. Which makes it uh, suck. But that is okay. So I totally forgot that the quarry was running and using power. That's probably what was causing such a big power draw after we tried to use the dimensional card. And I think that just spiraled down our power network. But then we also found some issues that did need to be fixed. So that's okay. We're going to continue working on stuff and we're going to continue to improve things in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you all take care and I'll see you in the next one.